What's going on, brothers? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Um, welcome back to another episode of the Hall of Gang. Uh, guys, what happened to the Bow Wow pick? Nigga, don't worry about that. It was the wrong picture. All right? Just focus on the damn show. All right, guys. Good to see y'all in the building. Um, we, you know, what happened was I've been having some power outages here on the continent at night. And also, um, my sleep pattern changed a little bit. It'd be like three o'clock in the morning when I have to do the Hall of Game. So because of that, um, I have missed several shows, right? And uh, I apologize to the cast and to the brothers that are appreciating this content. We do want to get back on track. Let me just give a, a shout out to Brother Frederick Johnson and Cigars with Mac. Thank you for the 20 spots, brothers. But I wanted to do this show, man. And I have Brother Assigny tonight. We're going to lay this game down for you, brothers, man. A lot of black men have no idea how to do business, okay? It's too much nigga business in the game. I just got to be real. Me and Hassani going to break this shit down. It's too many bullshit-ass niggas in the game, all right? And because of that, we don't know how to do normal business stuff like collaborations or how to bring things to the table, how to even, you know, uh, when to try to ask for help or when to try to expand little things that we should know how to do. We don't know how to do. Only thing we know how to do is do nigga business. And let me tell you about this. Right. There's a lot of people who think they're doing black business that's actually doing nigga business. And the people who are complaining like, oh, well, you know, brother, uh, black folks can't work together, can't do this together. I, I had that situation here in Uganda, which I'll talk about tonight. But no, a lot of y'all are the same people that y'all are complaining about. Right. A lot of you black men got to get it together. Right. And so we're going to talk. give us some tips. Me and brother Scotty Ali, uh, how to do and This is on the basic level. How to improve. Right. Uh, on, 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 especially when you're dealing with other black people. So we're going to talk about that. Brother Asani Ali, go ahead and shout out to him, brother. Uh, Hassani Ali from the D is always your men's motivational coach, blogger, and advocate. Ready to get this one in because this was on, it's going to be a fun one as always. All right. Looks like it's just me and you for tonight. And I, I blame that on myself, right? So, uh, because I, I, I didn't send the email out. Oh, shout out to Uncle Tony for the 99.99. He just had a birthday. Shout out to Tony, man. Um, thank you for the support, brother. Uh, uh, Hassan, Hassan, you know, me and you, um, we, in, in certain aspects, like we are both uh, motivated, uh, especially in this kind of online or consulting, maybe social media niche, right? And, um, yep. I, I, I met you through, uh, I think it was, a, it was an email a few years ago, right? But you, you're a great networker. And as a black man, um, you you supersede the, the normal brothers in how to, you know, reach out to people and how to do the basic things to expand uh, your reach, how to expand your growth, and stuff like that. Why do you think a lot of black men have issues... Right in doing that like you're doing it? Well, the the biggest issue that I've, I've come across, um, just watching brothers, how they move, especially in the manosphere and even in regular business, is that it starts from the introduction. You know, they want to, you know, give, they want to get right to the point. You know, I'm trying to make some money. We should collaborate, you know, this, that, and the other. But, they don't give the person that they're reaching out to an, in, an incentive or a reason to work with them. You know, no resumes mm -hmm. provided, no websites provided. You know, the, the whole introduction just sets the president the precedent for a bad encounter. It sounds janky and shysty. You know, like you come in with them, you come in to, to them with one of those uh, pyramid schemes. And so when it comes to introducing yourself in, in order to do business, or even when you're interacting with clients, your introduction have to be the most on par thing, you know, to it because that's 
that's the first impression they're going to have. And if they don't have that that good impression with you, they're not going to do business with you, whether it's your collaboration or you're selling a product or a service. And we do this because when we look at doing business with other black folks or, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, people who are not, you know, maybe don't have LLCs or kind of just have hustles, we don't think of it the same. We kind of think the rules are laxed and they're not. Presentation, presentation is everything. And so if you're, if you come to a person who's doing well, sounding like you have a nigga business, that's how they're going to treat you. Like you have a nigga business. They're going to look at you like, okay, it's one of these other brothers trying to, you know, uh, get a one up or, you know, ride my coattail or, you know, something to that degree. So if you're going to reach out to brothers to do some sort of collaboration, do yourself a favor and just give a, a, a well thought out introduction. Okay. Just say, say who you are, what you're, what you do, what your objective right. is for your collaboration and give them a reason of why you should do business with this person. Okay. 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 Let, let, let's, let's repeat that because a lot of, again, a lot of black men have a lot of talent, but again, we, we miss the basic points, right? Can you go, go over that last part one more time? If you're going to reach out to somebody, your introduction mm-hmm. has to be everything. So okay. you have to explain who you are, what you do, what you're trying to do, what your objective is with this person, and give them a reason as to why you would make a solid collaboration and why it would be worth it for them to collaborate with you. Okay. Let me work backwards, okay? Because um, I know that you 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 you're able to do that because uh, I, I've, I've I've seen you do that with me. I know you've done it with people like Boyce. The last part. The and, and another, another thing too is even when you're, you're you're closing somebody, and it might not be any money involved. Um, let's say if I want to collaborate with a person and there's no money involved, but I just want to work with this person, do yeah. I still need to? give them a reason as to why they should want to work with me. Absolutely. Because remember, if they especially if they're in a higher position than you are, you have okay. to give them a reason to work with you. I'll give you a perfect example. So okay. as you, as you stated, you know, I've written for Boyce Watkins for maybe about six months. And mm-hmm. with that information, though I did not get paid, you know, to go through Boyce Watkins, that gave me the opportunity to uh, write for Tariq Nasheed for about a year and a half. Okay. So just knowing for people knowing that I've, you know, worked with Boyce Watkins and they've seen my work and the brother who was the editor um, with Tariq's uh, blog. Now, I think he changed the name of it, but he, he recognized me. He said, Oh yeah, I used to work over um, at Boyce's, uh, you know, blog site. And I was like, yeah, you know, and the you know, boys and uh, his team gave me, you know, vouch for me. And that led to another opportunity. So right. it's just it's just a matter of, you know, it's the, I'll scratch my back. If you if you, um, I'll, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. And we never give the people a reason to work with us. We just kind of do it like we should just do it because I said so. Okay? Right. Or because you're black. Right. And so, especially for a brother that's doing well for himself, he's like, "Fuck no, I don't. I don't have right. to work with you because I'm. I've already made it myself, or I already have my team. So what is it? What what are you bringing that I don't already have? And I think a lot of times brothers, you know, kind of get on that. Um, you know, let's collaborate because I'm black, or you know, just because we're in the same field, and not knowing that you have to come up with some kind of uh, valuable collateral that that person can hang their hat on. Even right. if, you, even if you just look, even if you need their kind of approval, you know, I'll give you another example. Um, my brother Bernard and Obsidian Bernard went, you know, reached out to Obsidian and was like, Hey, you know, I just want, I'm looking to become a YouTuber. I want to, you know, get your insight, you know, that kind of thing. Bernard, mm-hmm. you know, studied under, um, obsidian and i don't know like the what the back end you know details were but now they collaborate on a show right on bernard's show (laughs) show, yeah right right and so uh, brothers really have to understand what 
every time you go into a business collaboration, just like when you're approaching a woman, you have to say, why would why would this person do, do business with me? And what can I offer that no one else is offering them? Yeah, yeah, no, that's 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 right. And I've seen Brother Bernard shout out to him because um, this is a guy that started a live stream and that like he only has like fourteen hundred subscribers. But that live stream will have upwards of 500 people. You get you plenty of money. I mean, like, yeah, like that live stream might make, you know, a few thousand dollars every month just off yep. the fact that, you know, but he come, he came correct. Right. Like Absolutely. he opened up an opportunity for himself. Yep. Let me let me let me go. Let me go back to, to this. Right. And um, let me tell you, let me tell you uh, 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 this this particular story. Right. Uh, recently, I was dealing with a. There was a Ugandan hip hop artist that was introduced to me. Um, that is fairly popular in the country, uh, and so uh, one American that was here knew knew that I was here and uh, showed him what I was doing. So he come over. He came over. He saw what I had. Uh, you know, he's like, "Oh man, you know, you guys are producing a lot of content. This is what we're looking to do. I want to work with you on your Kinganda channel with that." So I'm thinking, cool, right? Yeah. But then as time went on, what it seemed like is, okay, you guys want us to support what your interests are. Like, pretty much you want us to sponsor you. But you have, like, when it, so basically what I did, right? He did an online concert. So what he was looking for was for us to support the online concert, right? For the, with their kind of unique content. I said, I'll tell you what. I'll pay for two concerts. You do it on your platform and you do it on my platform. You know what he told me? No. Nope. Not interested, right? But at the same time, this is the guy that reached out to me talking about he wanted to work with me, right? Right. Exactly. That's hey. like, that's. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was no, going to say, uh, that's like a rapper going up to Def Jam saying, I, I want you to sign me for this amount of money. And I'm going to only produce, you know, this many songs or this many albums. And they just expect Def Jam to be like, okay, yeah, no problem. We'll, we'll, we'll make that up for you. But again, it's that, it's that um, we should do business because I'm black or we should do business to support each other. You know, basically, um, it's basically sounds like, like a come up. And if I were to know who that brother was, I'd have been like, what the hell's wrong with you? If 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 I was given an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, I would have been I would have been jumped on it. Why why don't you feel like you don't have to put any skin in the game, especially if nobody right. knows you? Right. And that's the and that's the problem that our brothers have is that we don't want to put any kind of I had to the, this is the best way I'm gonna phrase it, put a down payment on doing business with somebody. And that's the only way people are gonna listen. And 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 that's the truth. Now let me ask you this real quick, right? Um, and shout out to everybody in the building. I noticed that people will now, and I, I, I this is a black show, right? And we're talking about why. One second, hold on a second. Listen, you niggas are not going to be in my chat talking about Joe Biden and Obama. Get out of my chat. Wait, wait, wait. Let, Duchess, bye. You niggas only spending no money over here. You coming over here distracting niggas? Get the fuck off my show. I'm telling you that right now. If you were in here talking about anything else, get out. This is a business show. We're not here to talk about sports or talk about Joe Biden or nothing. You are here to talk about the damn topic. You niggas are not going to mess this show up. Get your ass out of my chat. And You're not that, here spending no money. You're not super chatting. You're over here talking about goodbye. You're going to talk about the topic in here or you gone. Go somewhere else. I'm not playing with you niggas. I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning to do this show. We are here, but the Asani's here. Y'all gonna respect us by staying on the goddamn topic or your ass is out. Playing with you niggas. All right, go ahead, brother. What was you gonna say? And that's the problem, O'Shea. Stupid ass. We're, you you want to talk politics, Joe Biden, Obama, whatever, but at the same time, these are the same people who put no money on Obama's campaign and wonder why he didn't do anything for black folks. Come on now. We're talking about everything but the goddamn show. Wonder why we can't get no damn where. Thank you, Brother James Sandman. 
Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, hey, 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 baby. Let me let me let me kind of talk about this right yep. now, especially when you're a black man, uh, you know, because because really this show is about really black men doing business. Uh oh, hold on. I'm it's a lot of noise in the background. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we talk about the black male, like the, the, the black men, right? When we're doing stuff, this show is more catered toward us working together and us trying to improve a network together. Absolutely. Um, let's kind of talk about that. You talk about it too, right? Being the uh, comfortable, like, okay, like if I'm a white person, I know that I need to be on my best behavior to, to um, if I'm in front of somebody white or non-black, I got to be on my best behavior to try to impress them. But if I know that I'm in front of another African-American, then for whatever reason, I think the standards are a little bit lower. Now, Absolutely. how do I overcome bringing something to the table? Okay, this is another black person. We're from the same culture, but I want to work with that person. How do I put like the, the, the best foot forward, you know, with something like this? And and again, it it starts with Especially that. Especially with starts, black men. Go ahead. Yeah, it, it starts with that introduction. You know, whether you're uh, reaching out via online or you meet them in person, you always have to have your best foot forward, and that's all in your presentation. Kevin Samuels will tell you that image is everything. And mm -hmm. so when you're when you're reaching out and letting that brother know that you mean business, you get right to the point. You get right to the point. Say, this is my objective. Here's why we should work together on this objective. Here's what's going, this is how this is going to benefit you. If you're interested, you know, feel free to reach out. You know, um, if we can meet up in person, I'll be more than happy to take you to lunch. You're doing the, the necessary things to let this person know that you're serious. Because typically, if people are just meeting up, just a meeting up, they're just talking. They're just talking. Mm -hmm you know, kind of shooting the breeze, banter, 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 but nothing ever gets done. But if there's money on the table or, um, you know, you're out at the, at the golf course where you're, you're spending that time, you know, with the person, then, you know, something's going to get done. And the problem is we, we just sit around and we, you know, because he's black and I'm black, we can talk, we could talk that nigga speak and still get business done. And that's not exactly how it works. Okay. Okay. Shout out to brother, uh, James Sandman. I don't want to hear nothing about Obama. No, nothing, nothing. Nigga. I better not hear nothing. Reagan Time out. I told y'all keep it to yourself. Okay. Let me, let me, let me talk about this. Right. In, in, in improving in the introduction. Now that, I have, you know, convinced a person. And I, I, I like how the fact that you said, you know, take them out to lunch. You're offering something, right? And a black, a lot, a lot of black men, I get so many emails from people, man, all the time, wanting to collaborate, wanting to work with me. You know, hey, man, I love to come on your platform. I love to come on your show. I'm like, well, bro, I got like 80,000 subscribers. You have 800. Like, I'm, I'm not, in, and I'm not in the business of, charging people to come on my platform because if it if it's not a good show i don't want to do it you can't pay me to do it because it's like wasting my time yeah so exactly so uh, here here's what i want to here's what i want to know like if a person is bigger than you and that's the problem with a lot of black men a lot of black men want to reach out to people who have more than them and then get mad when they don't want to work with them but i understand like you understand what the great equalizer is which is trying to give something First, right? Like one guy emailed me the other day. I don't know the guy. He asked me when I come on his live stream and um, nice guy. Right. But it's like, you know, number one, I haven't been doing that many live streams anyway. And why would I come on to your live? I mean, like, let's just be honest. You know, like I'm, I'm in I'm on a continent. The power is going out. Like, why would I come on to your? I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know yeah. you. And I'm not going to spend two hours of my free time with you. When I can spend for, you know two hours of my free time making videos doing something else, so how do you how do you create the great equalizer, um, brother Hassani, in giving something to to basically to to receive on the back end? Money talks, O'Shea. Money talks, and 
just like and just like how about how I've been following you for about four or five years now is I, w- I was a patron for for years. Mm-hmm. You know, I volunteered to write on the on the website for free. And when my wife and I were were doing or or when we were doing stuff, first starting up our, you know, marriage coaching business, you know, uh, shout out to Ron Wills. I we reached out to Ron Wills. I dropped a hundred bucks and said, will you do a book review? He was like, yeah, no problem. Just taking that extra step. I didn't even wait for Rom to give me the okay. I put the money in his hand and then asked him the question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's how he knew I was serious because I gave him what I gave him an incentive up front. Okay. And, and, and my wife and I aren't on YouTube, but I said, can you do a book review on your channel and just direct people to our, our link on Amazon? I, I uh, PayPal them even before I, you know, asked the question. And then I said, by the way, that hundred dollars that you just got, that was from us. And he was like, you know what? Okay, no problem. And we didn't even have we didn't even have to have a conversation after that. I sent him the book, he reviewed it, and it was as simple as that. But we don't we don't ever think that investing investing in our business partners is worth it because they should just work with us on merit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Say it again. Say it again. Say it feel, again. We feel as if we should get collaborations on on merit, and that's not how that works. You know, there's no emotions in business. Sad, you know, unfortunate. That's why people can get let go of a job and the business keep running because that business has needs first. And, you know, we have this idea of, okay, I'm starting a business or I've been in business for a little bit. So people should want to work with me. And that's not, that's not how it works. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, no, excellent point. Shout out to Brother Keep It Taking in the building. Guys, thank you for being here. Make sure that you guys like the video. Brother, uh, brother, keep it taking, man. Go ahead and drop some knowledge on him, man. Um, what do you think about this topic, man? I know you're 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 a good brother, and you you have some input on this, brother. Oh yeah. Um, so um, I'm not a I'm not a big business guy or whatever, but I can add a little bit to this. Um, I um, I mean, one thing one thing I wanted to point out. I mean, Hassani is is right on point, man. When when he uh. When he stated, uh, nobody has to give you anything at the end of the day. I mean, um, and money talks just like he said, you know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, you, you have to put something out there, whether it's, uh, some of your skills that you have, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and put that and put that, put that forward. You know what I'm saying? You can't just, you can't just go in and get pissed off because somebody don't don't help you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, nobody really has to help you and nobody knows you. So, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you got to you got to you got to um, your 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 first impression is everything when it comes to, you know, working with people, especially like O'Shea was saying about, um, you know, bigger YouTubers, you know, trying to work with them or whatever. Yeah, I mean, you have to put your 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 best foot forward. You know what I'm saying when it comes to it, and when it comes to trying to get uh, help in any type of way, um, especially when it comes to you know YouTube or whatever. But uh, but with YouTube, if you're trying to be a YouTuber, I mean, the the grind is is slow. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, I mean, and and that's one thing with black folks. I mean, we we want to tend to you know blow up overnight or whatever, like. Like the rappers do, you know, they get a hot song and then, you know, a couple weeks later, they they the hottest thing out or whatever. It don't happen like that when it comes to, you know, other types of businesses, especially depending on what type of business it is or what type of channel it is. Uh, it, it may not pop like that, you know what I'm saying? Because people are, you know, attracted to uh, entertainment, you know. And uh, mm-hmm. so if you're trying to do something totally different, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not going to work the same. And you got to understand that. You know what I'm saying? So um, I hope that that makes sense. Yeah. Go ahead. Let, me, <laughs> no, let me say this, right? And um, let me talk about this. Like, as far as uh, what teacher said, dropping money shows that you're serious. Um, Like, here's the thing. For me, everything's not about it's not about not about money but i will say this 
um, for a lot of people, and this is, you know, real talk for a lot of, a lot of brothers, you know, you, you, you can show that you're serious in different ways. One of the things is, is that if somebody is larger than you, like, for example, one of my mentors was a millionaire. He's a Filipino guy. And um, one of the ways I caught his attention, because I, I, I got introduced to him from somebody else. And that's one thing, too. If you are a good, solid person, people will introduce you to people who are more powerful and larger than you. One of the reasons why a lot of black men can't get introduced to 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 higher networks of people is because you are a nigga on bullshit. That's just really what it is. Uh, you cheat. Uh, you want some fuck shit. You know, you always trying to get something for free. And because you're a nigga like that, nobody wants to introduce you to somebody that is a, 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 a life changer because you're going to mess it up, right? If you're a person that's serious, you're a person that's willing to help out people, you're per- people will recommend you. Like, like, like you know, my grandma used to always say, the, the Bible always says your name travels before you get there. A lot of y'all's names are already fucked up. We're going to just have a, we're going to have a conversation. It is. It's already messed up. Okay. Because you are, I want to get it for free. I want to get the hookup. Can you help me? Like, for example, I got added to this black YouTuber group, right? And it's all these people asking for sub for sub. And I made a post and people ask, can you help me? Can you review my channel? Can you do this? So you're the, you're the same person that don't want to pay for nothing. Right. And it's just like, once you're like that, you can't meet people of quality. Because people of quality understand that it always costs to get into the market. It costs something, you know, to get into the market costs, guys. It's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you time. It's going to cost you money. It's like dealing with women. It's going to cost you something. A lot of you guys don't want to pay that all the time. I'm not saying, you know, a lot of y'all watching right now, but in general, a lot of black men don't want to pay it. Whatever the cost is to do what you got to do. You need to pay it. If it's your time, usually that's what it is. It's not your money because a lot of times you could throw $2,000 or something or $100 or something and it won't do you any good. Um, usually it costs your effort. All right. It costs this. If you're not willing to do that, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You're going to end up, number one, wasting your time and you're going to waste somebody else's time. Usually it's going to be yours. Right. Because the people that you want to deal with that are are, are, are are doing more than you, they're not going to fuck with you. Let me give you an example. Same guy I was talking about the rapper. Right. They have a web series that they have that they want to do. And anybody uh, ever been to Africa or the continent, you know that one of the uh, biggest uh, cable carriers here is called DSTV throughout the continent. Right. So DSTV, they look for content and they want to support uh, content creators. Right. And um. It's based out of South Africa. So what what happened is, so they created like three or four episodes. They wanted to go to DSTV, shout out to Brother Love C, right? And y'all niggas will not believe this. They basically filmed three episodes, right? And they want to go to DSTV. And do you know what they want DSTV to do? They want DSTV to fund all of their ideas. And these niggas got three episodes on YouTube. 400 subscribers. I mean, these niggas have not built no following. They don't have like 80 or 90 or 100 episodes. They don't have nothing. These niggas expect, I did something three times. I'm going to DSTV and have them write a check for everything. But that's exactly how a nigga think. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody in that position, they're going to look at you, man, and be like, man, you, you can't even get a meeting with nobody like that. And so what for a lot of black men, we we just don't understand that the price is to pay something, a lot, right? And usually it's your time and your own investment in your own ideas. Before you come to somebody even like me, I don't even have 100,000 subs. If you want to do a, a collaboration with somebody else, right? What they're gonna look at? They're gonna look at your channel, look at your views, 
look at you know anything else or look at your statistics in your business they don't look at these things what what reason is it that i should do something with you why am i taking time out of my day to do something with you and if you brothers can't answer that question then it's, you, you're not going to get no network. And I want to say this before we go back to uh, Asani. Um, it's always good to lead in business with what, what you can do for somebody else. Even me. I, I worked for the uh, African Diaspora Channel for a year last year, and up until about April. And I'm mentioning that because um, I, I, I would say I interned for almost 13 months, right? At the time, I was already doing well in Black YouTube, but I sucked it up, went to a larger channel, learned some things about the game that I didn't know, right? What's up, Rollo? I wasn't like, oh, well, I already got a name and all that. No, 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 no. Because when you get into different types of content or different strategies, that's a new market, right? Whenever you enter into a new market where nobody knows you, I'm known in the manosphere. I don't, I'm not known for making news or I wasn't known for doing celebrity content. That wasn't what I do. I, I do that now, you know, but there's always a price to pay in the market to learn a different side of the business. You got to pay a price, you know, and when you got to pay a price, it hurt. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to tell you, it hurts. It hurts doing shit for free. But you got to do it for free if you want to get on. Sometimes are a little cost. I mean, brother Hassani, man, what is the? I mean, talk about the power of free, brother. Like, what, like, what would you say about that? The power of free, man. I, I tell you, it's one of the things that if you don't have the resources to, you know, get to a person, you know, uh, to get with the person, the power of free can not only get you a connection to someone higher up but it also shows you the power of, of the grind. As you talked about being a YouTuber, and it's something I'm learning myself, is that the, the grind is slow. And shout out to our brother Keep It Techie. It's a, it's a slow grind. You know, you're going you're gonna to upload videos where only 10 people view it. And you have to do that every day so people show some consistency. You can't um, show up on the scene and expect people are going to flock to you. I'll tell you about the power of free, O'Shea. Think about new businesses when they, you know, um, get a new brick and mortar or they're a new online business. Guess what they do for potential customers? They give out free stuff. Why? Because when you give out free stuff, it gives a person a chance to get acclimated with their products. And if they like it, they'll buy it. That's the power of free. Oh shoot! And if my I brother. could hop in now, uh, oh go yeah, ahead. go ahead. Shout out to Charles, brother Douglas. Shout out to brother Douglas, my brother. He be he's a great critic, right there, my brother. Oh shit, brother. I don't, I disagree with what you said right here, brother. Like I like Douglas. He's dead on his shit. Time of discussion. I'm in the process of partnering with a friend to provide services to his engineering firm. I'm rereading Black Labor, White Wealth, reflecting on the lack of group economics applications amongst blacks. Us black men in particular, that's a good brother. University of Wisconsin graduate like Antoine Wade out of, I want to say it's Brooklyn, right? I think it's Brooklyn, Douglas, right? Daryl Hodrick, I think it's important. We leverage each other's skill sets in respect to this time. If you have a skill set that's critical to my business, I am paying you well and on time every time. Oh, 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 brother Daryl, we're going to talk about that. Go ahead, KIT. Yeah, I was just going to add to what, what, uh, what the brother just said, man, at the at the end of the day, I mean, you have to understand what you asking someone to do. You know what I'm saying? When, when you're talking about collaborating and all that stuff. Um, I mean, you taking away from them actually creating their own content. So at the end of the day, they they could possibly be losing money and time on whatever they're trying to do to build their platform. So you have to, you have to take that in effect, man. If you have ass and then you only got like, I made that mistake. I'm, I ain't going to see and lie to you. I made that mistake. I, I hit up, I hit up both uh, when I had like one video up, <laughs> I had been supporting them, you know, for a while, but, and then I started my channel or whatever, but I, I hit up, I hit them up and I hadn't really put in no work to be honest. So, um, you, you you can't be can't be half stepping, you know what I'm saying. You got to have something like 
as far as like a portfolio or something, some history of you actually uh, doing what you say you're going to do and completing, you know, things that you say you're going to do. So I just wanted to add that. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Great, great, great points. Let me um, let me do this to, uh, to kind of also talk about what Brother Daryl said. Um, it's important we leverage each other's skill sets and respect this time. If you have a skill set that's critical to my business, I am paying you well and on time every time. Uh, I, uh, so let me just say this, right? Um, Brother Maurice, um, November. I want to use him for an example. Shout out to Brother Rollo and Nick. I'll read them out in a minute. Brother Maurice in November, it's so talented as a uh, as a digital designer and branding marketing person. And he's very crafty how he was able to get uh, leverage. Everybody's working with him now. Uh, and and Me one too. of the reasons. Yeah, right. You too. I'm about to be working back with him again. Uh, Brother Ramil, what's up, family? Good to see you. The reason, one of the reasons why he got so popular is because I recommended him to everybody. So people took my recommendation and said, you know, like, well, now if O'Shea would recommend him, I know O'Shea ain't no bullshit. He's good, right? Maurice is better than good. Hassan can vouch for that, right? Um, oh, yeah. Mar Maurice is the epitome of, I think Kevin Samuels has used him, Antoine Wade has used him, Sub-Zero's using him. Everybody's using a, a, a neutral zones using Maurice. Everybody's using Maurice right now, okay? Maurice is so good that if you don't pay him well, you lose the asset. And I want to talk about what Brother Daryl just said. In blackmail business spaces where we don't have, we do have a lot of talent, but maybe not as much as we, as we need to have. If a guy have a skill set that adds to what you do, you pay well and on time. I'm going to tell you one thing real quick. I know I'm being a little bit long with it. Here in Africa, in Uganda, um, there are guys here that are. I mean, like, you talk about like balling. When you, and you, and you when you're in Africa and you have money, you are you are balling. There ain't no banks or uh, there's there's banks here, but it ain't like loans exist. You know, you can go get a loan for you know house thirty year loan. Don't work like that, right? If you're in Africa and you have money, you are rich, no doubt about it, right? Because everything you paying for is cash money. That's how much money you have. Now you will have niggas who will um, have the money. And they won't pay their employees for months. Good employees. But they be at the bar buying Jack Daniels, buying Hennessy, you know, tricking it on the hoes, right? Then you lose a good employee. All the guys, you guys see my content have stepped up. I'll talk about this from a personal perspective. You guys see how my content used to look like three months ago and how it looks now. The reason why my content has stepped up is because the guys that 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 work with me and work for me. Um, number one, they got a skill set that I can't really do, which is editing at that level, right? I don't really edit at all. You know, I'm learning, but at the level that they do it, can't do it. But you know what? I pay well and on time, whatever it costs, right? Like one of my guys got a video project doing, I'm paying for that now. Don't worry. Cause he's so, he's worth so much. My guys are worth so much to me that, that. I want to keep my talent. And that's another thing, too. You have guys, even on this YouTube space, you have guys that can't keep talent around. You know? And when they can't keep talent around, then they have this problem. Hold on one second. Let me do this. Black Curls. I see Ramil there, nigga. Ramil, hop on this live. Ramil, you want to come on? Let me tell you something, nigga. This ain't your motherfucking live stream. It's mine. Black Curls. You can't tell nobody who to come on here. Hop on this live. Like this is your damn live stream. Another nigga. Thank you, BOA. So I wanted to say that real quick. Uh, Brother Ramil, if you did want to come up, it's, it's, it's definitely fine. But who is Black Curls trying to tell somebody who to lop on somebody's stream? Nigga, you ain't you ain't the moderating this. Get up out of my, out of my chat. Um, what was I say I was roasting this dude that brother? Yeah. So basically, that's all what I wanted to add on that, right? I wanted to add that part. Anything else you want to say? Thank you, brother. Let me read the super chat. Thank you, BOA. There seems to be a necessary, lack of necessary acumen when it comes to business between brothers. It boils down to lack of respect for self each other. Salute, oh, and piece of chat. Thank you, brother, BOA. I see you cooking. Nick Penn. Thank you, brother, Larlo. Got to revise service people see fit. Got to see something to look into, and eventually you will, your service will see them grow. Um, 
Thank you all the brother for me. If you want to come up, you definitely can. But yeah, man. How this nigga but finna come and try to uh he ain't put no money in the super chat telling somebody where they should be hopping on. Nigga, if you don't get your ass out of my chat, this ain't your damn show. Go ahead, brother Sonny. I'll just I'll say I'll say this and then I'll I'll keep it short. Do you know how much it costs to get in front of Erica Williams? How much? Three hundred dollars. Grant Cardone, twelve hundred dollars. Dan Locke, about a thousand. And shout out to Brother Maurice. Uh, he actually just called me. Uh, we got a, a a meeting tonight, and Maurice is masterful. Oh man! When he talks business, and I'm just talking from my own experience, he's like, you know what, brother? He gave me an invoice, so I knew he was official. And he was like, before I can start any work. I need a deposit. And that pop deposit let me know, yes, I need to make sure this brother is paid before he gets started on any of my projects. And that's how I knew this brother was good at what he does. And I'm going to um, definitely give him a shout uh, once we're done here. But again, to get in front of these type of people, the reason why I brought up those, those figures is because if you don't have that type of investment, these, these type of people aren't talking to you. Because they have those people who are willing to pay that kind of price in order to get in front of them and discuss ideas or do collaborations. That's what it's, that's what it's going to take. And so, like the um, brother was saying in the super chat, is to respect um, respect each other's time, respect respect right. each other's uh, skill craft uh, skill sets. This is not the time type of time to be trying to latch on to people's you know coattails as they're climbing to the top, because here's the thing is that receipts show everything. Hello. And when I say receipts, receipts show everything. I'm going to just use an example. Um, I'm trying to think of, okay, let's, I'm a, I'm a Detroit Pistons fan. So, mm -hmm. you know, we won the, we won the championship in Oh four. Can you tell me anybody who was on that bench from that Oh four championship team? I don't know, maybe Darko Militic. Exactly. Or or <laughs> even or even let's fast forward it to when uh Toronto uh to uh the Raptors, they won a championship. Can you tell who's on that team? Hell, the really? only person I knew was uh was uh Kyle, Kawhi Leonard and uh what's the brother? Uh Kyle uh Laurie. Lowry. Lowry, yeah. I didn't know who else was on the team. Right. And so you have to contribute and put some skin in the game in order for people to show not only do you produce but you also you know um are a valuable asset and i will say this and then i'll then i'll cut it i'll cut my mic when you are producing and people are showing that you are producing on your own a lot of times those bigger those bigger um head figures will come down and find you yes those those big yeah. head honchos will be like, hey, I see, you know, you're on YouTube and you've got 10,000 10, subscribers. You know, you're doing well. Um, you know, would you be open for an interview or would you be open to my suggestions? They've already seen you put the sweat equity in. And so they know that you're worth it because you've put in the work. And so a lot of times when you start producing on your own, a lot of people will come to you because they see the value in you. And I'll come on mic after that. No, that's no, that's 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 great. Great points, because even bigger people are always looking. In fact, <laughs> bigger people are always stealing from the smaller people. So they watching. Ain't that right? Poach Adams. But anyways, go ahead, brother uh, KIT. Nah, man, that, that was a great point. What he just brought up. Uh, Hassani, man. Um, and and let me just tell this quick story or whatever. You know, uh, I have I've been, you know, doing my channel for a couple of years and. You know, um, I kind of was slow on videos or whatever, but I was putting them out or whatever. Well, uh, just to give an example of what uh, Hassani just said, you know, uh, some of these, these YouTubers are always watching. And um, I had like a couple guys that are like in the in the niche that I do. They uh, they came down and started, you know, supporting as well as uh, giving me shout outs and all that stuff. So. I mean, that's that's 100 percent true. You know what I'm saying? You put in the work, people start noticing that or whatever. And then 
another thing I wanted to, to hop on and say, um, that hookup, uh, hook a brother up culture need to go when it comes to business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, there are people you can go to, you know, if, if it's somebody you've been knowing for years or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But just random, oh, hook a brother up. Nah, that's got to go when it go to, when it come to business at the end of the day. Um, uh, I mean, that's, that's some hood shit. And uh, you actually have to pay for people's services. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't just come in, you know, asking for for handouts or whatever. Um, and at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to like graphics and, you know, design and stuff like that. I mean, it's nothing to put 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 aside 50 bucks and uh, and go on to what freelancer dot com or or one of these sites where you can uh, you can pay somebody to create you a logo, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, hit up one of the guys off of here and network within the Manosphere, you know, who does graphics design? Like uh, O'Shea just brought up Maurice November, you know what I'm saying? Graphics design, hit the hit the brother up, but you have to pay, you have to pay people for their services, you know what I'm saying? And that hook a brother up crap, you know what I'm saying? It it don't work, you know what I'm saying, in this, in this space. If that may, if that makes sense, I hope I'm not disrespecting nobody, but you know, that's, that's the way I see it. No, I mean, you, you actually uh, point out some great things. Let me see this real quick. Uh, Daryl Hodrick, O'Shea, if possible, can you do a haul again concerning human capital? I think educating our brothers on the subject of human capital will increase our production as a team. Yes. Yes. Possibly tomorrow. Thank you. The collaborator calibrator. Thank you. Great content discussion. Brother Ramil. I know you know something about talking about these niggas. Please, please go ahead and weigh on the brother. Uh, well, real quick, uh, thanks for having me, man. Uh, appreciate you as always. And you know, when it comes to the business aspect, I think what it really comes down to what black men are missing. Uh, Book of Afronomy just said it. It's because it's really a lack of self respect. Because one thing I learned, and Kevin Samuels was right, that making money is a social thing, and the more people skills you have, the more money you're gonna make. Also, another thing that black men have have messed up about business is that they consistently think it's about money, money, money. No, it is not. Business is about helping others. The more people you help, the more people are going to help you. Just, O'Shea is doing a perfect example. He's helping black men get content that they normally wouldn't get. It's an underserved market. So the more he helps you guys, the more you guys help him. It's an exchange. And the money is just a side effect of you helping people, but too many black men go into business thinking that's just about money, money. No, the money is just a side effect. The primary goal is to help people and to get better people skills. So you combine those two together, the money is going to be a side effect. And that's something I'm still learning about to this day. I still buy courses. I still invest in myself. It's another thing, too. You can never stop learning. Like I just bought another real estate course like last week from uh, Tony the Closer. So I can, you mm -hmm. can never just learn too much. You know, you, you, know, you can never learn too much. So that's the thing, man. Like, it's, it's a journey. Business business is a lifestyle. But too many black men, this is why it's just best to go all in. Too many black men don't take it seriously. I'm learning that doing the show with Kevin Samuels. But, uh, you know, it, it's just a, it's a lifestyle. It's a, it's a, psych, it's a uh, psychology, learning psychology, people skills, and realizing that helping people is the primary objective. And the money's a side effect. The money's just the numbers. You you don't. That's the shit you do in the back room. You do the numbers in the back room. On the front lines, you help others. That's what I've learned about, about it. Man, you just <laughs> say that part again about helping other people, brother. And uh, and 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 the money is a side effect. Talk about that. I mean, like I said, okay. So the bottom line is that money's not real. Okay. I mean, I know it, it, it. Our survival is based on it, but it's not an actual tangible thing. So it's like. You know, people, you can assume if somebody's surviving, they have some sort of money on them. I mean, no matter what. So you helping that person, that's the real thing. That's what's actually taking place. The money is just them just, that's like an energy transfer. You know, it's, it's not, it's going to come because they have it. So if you help somebody, you make them feel good. They want to repay you. They want to re repay the favor. And, and one of the main ways to do it is to give you energy, which is the money. Hope I'm not confusing people, but pretty much. The money's a side effect of you making people feel better, increasing the quality of people's lives, making making people's you know lives easier or whatever the case, solving problems. The money's a side effect of that. You know, hope I uh, didn't confuse you guys. 
Man, he didn't gave away the whole game. Now, I, I mean, now I, I do want to, uh, to tell that the brother is right. Let me just say that um, Ramil, Ramil is a very astute when it comes to, you know, like uh, understanding how these things work for me. And I'm going to tell a lot of guys, right? People ask me, like, even about um, YouTube. How do I make money on YouTube? Well, number one is, like, what's the whole goal? Like, a lot of times in, in, in the business, let me let me let me explain something based off what Ramil said because it could have missed some people. All right, so even in my new content, my strategy from what it was before was a lot of live streaming and me just doing my like classic view videos. That that has carried me to like where I'm at now, right? But then I wanted to know like, okay, what would happen if I was able to up my production? What would happen if I was able to get in more people? And so it was a theory, right? It was testing a new strategy out. And and what happens if I try to add more value, it, more entertainment value, and then more business? Like, what would the outcome be? I'm not even looking at, oh, if I do this, I'm going to make money, right? And a lot of people don't look at, okay, money is the outcome of you having a good system. Like now I know if you have a certain amount of videos per day, a certain amount of videos this, you know, around around these topics, you can expect this. But it's about do you even have the system? Being consistent, having the system every day, right? Do you have value? Again, are you in the underserved or oversaturated market? All of those things contribute to the the business and the money is what's on the back end. A lot of guys are looking for the money on the front end. Then you're never going to do good in any business, right? The thing about it is, do you like do you like what you do? Do you enjoy it? Uh, can you be motivated to work for it? Because the motivation, two things you need a lot of motivation for: academia, a studying, and business. Working out is one of the other things, but like personal development, academia, and business, those things you need a lot of motivation for. And what a lot of guys don't understand is, you know. Is what you're doing valuable? Because like Brother Hassani Ali pointed out, you can have a, let's say, you could be a smaller person, right? And not have as much clout. But if you're offering more value, people who are above you will follow you. People who are above you, who have bigger followers will appreciate you. A lot of black men That's what don't with me and you, shit, pretty much. Exactly. A lot, of, a lot of black men don't offer enough value in whatever they're doing whether it's their business, whether it's their YouTube channel, what is the value? Like, can I differentiate what you're trying to do from somebody else? And if you can do that, then, and if you can network and you can help people, you're going to help yourself. That's the whole thing. The more you help others is the more you help yourself. Right. And I want to, uh, uh, shout out to brother red pill, man. I talked to that brother uh, a little bit earlier the other day. He's in my Facebook group, the calibrator shout out to him. Go check out the red pill man's channel. So I, anything that you brothers do, understand, like, what's the value? Am I helping people? Um, and Am I doing that at enough rate that's, that's, that's especially in underserved markets? Like, black male media is underserved, right? So you guys got to, and do you have a system to produce whatever you're doing in any business? What is your engine? A lot of niggas don't have an engine, okay? Without the engine, the car can't go fast. Like, when you guys see my content now, that's because the engine is there. We have guys editing nonstop. You got the Adobe Audition. You have all these things have built this engine that you guys see now that's on my channel. That's The content is the same. I haven't been on camera I don't know how long, right? I got to come back on camera in a minute. But that's the system. And a lot of brothers don't have the engine yet. Don't You don't have to have it now, but you have to work on building it. Because when you have that engine, now you can go to a bigger, you can go to somebody bigger than you Cause you can be smaller than somebody with a better system, and and leverage that with a bigger person. Don't get it twisted. Yep. Like you, if you have a better engine and you can be smaller with a better engine and a better system, and knock somebody that's bigger than you all the time. I've done it. Go ahead, brother Ramil. What'd you say? No, I was just agreeing with you, man. Because everything you said kind of explained what me and your situation was. Like I was a super small channel, I, and I, you know, I remember we linked up, and you know, 
you had a way bigger following still to still do to this day. And I still have a way smaller following, but it's still, you know, an exchange of, of value. So I just, you know, I, that's an example of what you're talking about here. So, um, you know, I said that's that's it in real time. So, I mean, you know, it speaks for itself. And it, and then also, hey, if I could add, um, you also need to understand your niche at the end of the day. I mean, not everybody can actually help you no matter how big they are. So, I mean, and, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it. I mean, you just have to fully understand what, what, what your goals are for your, for your YouTube channel or whatever, and actually look for people that's within that, that same genre or niche of your channel. You know what I'm saying? And try to link up with them as well. You know what I'm saying? And don't just, cause I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like in a, in a, in a, in a weird spot. Uh, because to be honest, the people that I probably should be collaborating with more, I don't collaborate with because my goal is actually to help other black men, you know what I'm saying? And this is the space to actually help other black men. But a lot of those guys on the other side, you know, white guys really that, that do what I do right? or whatever, I, I could, po I could possibly have my channel you know, uh, a little bit more bigger if I if I worked more with those guys within that niche. But I mean, it's it's like a sacrifice. I want I want to see other black men, you know, do better. You know what I'm saying? And and get into these different industries that we're un uh, that we're not uh, represented in as much. You know what I'm saying? So I come over here. You know what I'm saying? But you do have to still work with those people within your niche um, that you're trying to you know build your your platform around. So. That's all I wanted to add. Y'all go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, I definitely, um, definitely believe believe that, um, brother, brother uh, Hassani. Go ahead. And KIT, I didn't know you're talking about as far as Linux, man, because a lot of niggas, a lot of a lot of brothers don't do, a lot of white boys do the Linux, man. You probably would yeah, be. Yeah, I know. Lot bigger. <laughs> I know that I know. for a fact. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Yes. Okay, so. Uh, brother uh, Ramel put put it right right the nail right the nail uh, put the nail on the head with everything he just uh, spoke about, and I just wanted just to make a quick comment and regarding making um, a space to provide a service, and he and that's and that's really where I should have went with it, and he he broke it down masterfully is that the money will come because it's just a side effect of providing a service and solving a problem. And money is looked at as a currency. So again, Osha, like you were like you were talking about, um, if, even if you don't have money, you can put in your time. Whatever kind of currency you have, it's a form of energy that you're putting in in order to collaborate with these folks. And so you have to find some kind of value that you can um, invest in order to work with folks. And then even on the opposite side, let's say you are, you know, the ones that are up there um, with the YouTube or if you provide a, if you provide a product or a service and someone reaches out to you and they may not know what kind of currency you require, then you can say, hey, you know, um, I know you want a partner, but in order for you to benefit me, to benefit me, then I need this from you in order to know that you're serious. Whether it's the time, it's the money, um, the sweat equity. Again, that, that currency piece is important because all this is is a currency. O'Shea is getting bigger and bigger because his currency has five years worth of receipts. We've been tuning in every day for five years. And so he has that record of providing a service that's very underserved and basically created a space for more brothers to get on this platform and provide those underserved markets. So you have now, you know, brothers that are in business that are, you know, um, getting YouTube channels, guys who are in the dating field, people um, who are looking to get into fitness and sports. When you provide that kind of currency, it, that energy grows and it expands. And it's such, it's a recurring thing. You can't, you can't send out one energy or, you know, one little effort of currency and expect, you know, sub, something to be handed to you just because you put out something. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. And you got to know that whatever you're getting into, it's going to be a long grind, a very long grind. 
Shout out to our brother, Grown Man Business. And I want to tell you about this, brother. He got a new setup coming. That's all I'm going to tell you. And uh, he going to be whooping you niggas' asses out here. Shout out to Grown Man Business out of out of yeah, Alabama. Shout out, Alabama. Shout out to GMB. Shout out to GMB. Yeah, doing a really kind of really doing really good. And uh and uh, also my man brother Alphronomy is doing really good. Now I there's a, a mention that somebody says um a Facebook group for a business group. While it sounds really good and I will be for it, I want to let you guys know as a Facebook group creator, um Facebook groups, good groups, take a lot of effort. It's just not that you create a group and let niggas come in there and post and all that. Good groups take a lot of design. And a good group takes a lot of effort, especially something in that niche. It takes a lot of work. Um, running a good Facebook group is, uh, you know, you got to have good admins. You got to have strict rules. I have the Negro Menace for Quarantine group. group good groups take uh, a lot of effort to run. Anybody, I, I run groups up to a million members. I run groups around, on average, about 100,000, but Facebook. Check. So to have a group like that, it's a lot of effort uh, for it to be effective. So right now I couldn't do that, but you you know I, that's another thing too, right? There's too many nigga Facebook groups that niggas just throw up and just start adding people to the group and don't know what they're doing. You Facebook groups take a, some type of design and thought process in it um, to run it. So, but at some point when we get more people, I could I could probably do that. But right now I wouldn't be able to do it this year because I got too much stuff on, on my heels. If somebody else wants to do it, it's fine with me. Go ahead, brother Ramil. Any, any, anything you want to put in there, brother? Uh well, I mean, like I said, man, I, I, that's that's pretty much what I wanted to, uh, to add on about the helping people and money being a side effect. I think I, uh, uh, you know, said enough on that. I mean, I, I mean, if you want, I mean, when it comes to business, I can really talk all night, you know. So I didn't know, you know, how. Well, no, how I mean, long. I mean, like, talk talk to me about real quick, brother, how a lot of these niggas that hit people up and not serious about, like, you know, like trying to do. Oh like, yeah, well, you know. You know <laughs> You know, I had that. I had to do a whole stream on that like a couple months ago to tell niggas to stop doing that shit. Because even though this shit, this YouTube shit, I don't. It's, to me, it's like a quasi business to me. And even though you know, I see you know, you, you keep telling me to take this serious, and I finally, you know, did to a degree. But uh, it's like I that don't mean niggas should still hit me up just on some. Hey man, what's up, man? I'm coming to Atlanta, you know. And I'm like, okay, what you what you mean you coming to Atlanta? Why the fuck are you telling me? Like, nigga, I don't know you. <laughs> you know, hanging out and like, you know, shit like that. You know, like niggas think like. So I have to tell niggas like, look, man, you still gotta like, if you want even if you serious. I don't even ask for donations or money on my channel, but if you serious, so you better like come correct. Like, this is just offering something upfront and value in exchange for somebody's right. time. There's nothing wrong with doing that. That's how you get the attention. That's what I do. You know what I mean? Like when right. I want to get the attention of somebody, I'm going to, you know, offer something, some form of currency. You know, uh, you know, try to. That's just how you're supposed to do it. I don't, I don't think black men do that because, like Book of Alphoronomy said, that respect factor. We don't really, <laughs> we don't really have that for each other like that. You know, and uh, I think that's because we don't speak the language of business. We don't know the language of business. I think if more of us learn business, our respect for each other will increase. Uh oh, what do you mean when you say that we don't really know the language of? What do you mean when you say that? Because when you learn, when you know the language of business, you start to look at the world as okay, how can I help others knowing that I'm going to get helped in return instead of looking at the world as how can other people help me? You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a whole different mindset. The language of business teaches you how to provide value, it just, it just makes the world a better place because everybody. You know, black men don't. We, that's why we at the bottom of the totem pole. We don't understand this shit. Black people in general, but black men don't understand. You got to give to get. Every other race understands this shit. Yep. You know what I mean? You got to give to get. Well, I will say this: niggas understand how to give to get with everybody else, but when it come to us, like you know what I mean? <laughs> then all of a sudden they get amnesia and shit. But yeah. Yeah. let me just go ahead. Go ahead. Will you? No, nah, I was just gonna say right fast, uh, and it, it'll be short or whatever, just to add to what Ramel just said. I mean, uh, we always say time is money when we talk about ourselves, but it also applies to the people you're trying to work with at the oh! end of the day. They losing money and oh, time shit. as well. That's so just wanted to throw that out there. 
look, what you just said could save the entire Sacramento right there. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Uh, go ahead, brother Ali. Is he there? What happened to brother Ali? Uh, maybe the white can man. Can you hear me okay? Back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's what's going on. My stuff been going in and out. But um, and and again, and as as brothers, we're we're telling y'all this because this is something we we've lived through, and it's hard lessons that we had to learn. You know, because we because you know I'm not gonna speak on everybody else, but I've gone through that stage where I was like, okay, I'm a I'm a freelance writer. I'm a journalist. You know, um, reaching out to other publications like you know you should um uh, put me on because I'm I'm great. And, you know, here's my, my resume, but I didn't give an exact reason of why folks should work with me. And when I wasn't getting the results I was looking for, I had to sit back and think like, OK, why? Why wouldn't they respond? What was wrong with my approach? Was I, you know, did I not give something? Was I, you know, um, did I have the right introduction? And is this is just tidbits for y'all, because I know a lot of y'all trying to get into business. A lot of you are trying to better yourselves as entrepreneurs and again when you provide that service a lot of stuff will come to you you will never believe who's watching what you're doing based on the little effort not little effort but you know the the great amount of effort you're doing in a small space and that small space will eventually become a big space if you stay consistent with it and so you know just keep keep doing what you're doing and know that the more that you put out and the more energy you you give out there, a lot of people are going to come to you with those with those resources and help you get there, even if you don't reach out to someone right away. But as long as you keep as long as you continue to do your thing, somebody will reach out to you. Um, just on the on the merit, because we're talking about merits again, on the merit that you're doing your own stuff and you're you're showing that you're putting this sweat equity in. Let me let me show you. Uh, say this real quick. Uh, Mike Davis, he put, "Oh shit, would you ever promote our product on your page?" Business wise, of course, it's bros out here that have business that could use it. Nigga, I don't even know what your product is. I'm sorry. I mean, thank you for the five dollars, but what what is your product? What are you talking about? Like, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I don't know what your product is, bro. Like, you know, you're saying promote our product on your page, business. I don't know what it is. Typically, I don't promote people's products because if something goes bad with it, I don't want nobody. Uh, you know, coming to me on the shit, but if it's, if it's good and I, I, I mean, you wouldn't have to pay me for it if, uh, if it's good. Right. Like I said, um, shout out to Daryl Hodrick. I just strive to keep taking content. You, unit Unix Linux is the uh, virtual, uh, future of virtualization, uh, networking cloud to get to the basics review as content brothers. B maze. Thank you, brother. Always been supporting for a long time, man. I want to say something real, real quick, just to all the black men listening to the sound of my voice. I've been in the manosphere community since 2015, when we came into the community, um, it wasn't like it is now, right? And Ramil was here early on, but he then he left. But he could tell you that um, now guys can make money as a, a serious economy by just live streaming now or creating content. It wasn't that way in 2015. Um, nope, sure wasn't. And, and now... The the game is so good that you can meet up with people in the same city. Folks are doing it all the time. And this this the, this content space, even though it's not even reaching a percentage of a percent of what black men are out there, this networking space can make you a millionaire. It can make you another $40,000 a year. It can make you $100,000 a year. It can make you a million dollars a year. And I said it to say this. Black men's biggest bailout is each other. The best network I've ever made in my life has been doing this. It's been better than, I mean, you know, like I'm like just six months away in classes, right? Like back-to-back -back classes from finishing medical school. I will put this network over a healthcare career. Not because of YouTube, right? But just because the black male markets are so underserved and the brothers have so much knowledge that you can't get in college. There are guys who are doing so many things. If, if you want to be really connected and be wealthy. You need to invest in these networks, right? Getting to know people, especially in the black male circuits, because they're underserved. Look at a guy like Bernard Riley, a guy like Bernard Riley. There's no other space that a guy like him can come in and stream every day on YouTube and make hundreds of dollars every day. 
um, unless he was in this market. Unless he's in this market. You don't think that a stream like that can make $100,000 in a year by doing it every day? I guarantee you it could. But just by being on the right people. And a lot of guys don't know that the best the best business plan for a black man is dealing with other brothers right now, man. You are your own bailout. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of you brothers, if you don't come correct, you are messing out on your own blessing, right? Because we have a $600 billion spending power in the United States. You know, I mean, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the very uh, level, we have like no black male, uh, like conferences. We have like uh, not a lot of black male business podcasts. We don't have a lot of black male Facebook groups. We don't have a whole lot of like a whole lot of stuff. That's economies. And a lot of times when economies aren't organized, you lose money, right? Like I was talking about it today in Uganda, Uganda hip hop industry is so unorganized. And because it's unorganized, you lose money. Like when it compares to Nigeria, they got like the Nollywood, the Afro beats and all that. If it's organized, there's money. So a lot of brothers don't understand that if you don't have these coming correct talks, the black tech spaces is, 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 is good is, is, is big money right now. Um, big or let me say big networking spaces that lead to money. Um, the black healthcare industry, you know, black barber stuff. You know, you got guys, black guys doing shoe reviews. All of that is here, and you don't even need to sell to women. You don't even need to do. I mean, even the black entertainment space thing, right? I never did celebrity content before. I can even tell you that that shit works. If you just dedicate it to a certain black male audience, it works. Anything that works anywhere else works with us. So you don't have to even go anywhere. In, re in reality, I don't have to like back in 2014 at my last job, I got fired at. I, I had to go to the white men to get a job, right? But in 2020, the game is such that I don't have to, if I want a part-time job, I don't have to go to Uber or Lyft. <laughs> I got enough connections in my space. I'm good, right? Because I got the support of, 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 of the brothers, right? I, I, can, I, can, I can be valuable to them instead of being like, nah, man, I'm going to go work for Amazon or I'll go work for uh, Uber Eats. I don't have to do that. I can work for myself and create with, with, with other black men and I can get way more further and more, more uh, autonomy than working with anybody else. I try to tell African guys that all the time, man. I tell, I, 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 there's African guys that are in here. I said, listen, you brothers got to get organized and create, you know, some of the stuff that you see that the African American guys are doing now. Right. And uh, some of them listen to it. My editors are like, man, this stuff is cool. This is uh, like, we don't have this kind of stuff in Kenya. We don't have this kind of stuff in Uganda. So, guys, you know, we, 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 we can set the bar on all of this, and our reach is not just in America. We got brothers in the U.K. that mess with our content. We got brothers uh, in Ireland, brothers in France, brothers in South Africa. So I just want to tell you, brothers, man, uh, a lot of the business part that you can help each other is doing it with each other, but we have to learn how to come correct, right? And we have to not cheat, try to cheat one another in this game because I can help Ramil, Ramil can help me. I can help Kippy Take, Keep Take, help me, Brother Ali. And we can keep the money coming in and we can keep the, we can keep helping each other grow each other, right? That's what every other group does. Every other group does this concept, except for us for the most part. So I just want you guys to leverage that when you see black men and you don't speak to them, you don't say hello to them, you don't introduce yourself to them, that's you. Losing out on a, on a million dollar opportunity because you don't know who he knows. You don't know what he does. Right. That brother could be your bailout. You might not have to go work for Amazon uh, part time. You might not have to go work for, uh, 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 you know, J.C. Penney's. He might have some like I'm telling you one thing. Right. I have a homeboy. He's a Filipino guy. Right. One of my best friends. But he act black. Right. He had a dude. This is a true story. A dude has a company that sells shoe cleaner. They buy the shoe cleaner for like, I don't know, like seven bucks. They sell it for 50. And my boy can sell anything. They got kiosks in the mall. So he had lost his job or whatever. Dude told him, hey, man, come sell my, um, uh, you know, my, my shoe cleaner, uh, you know, at, at a kiosk in our mall. Um, and then we'll split the profits. And my boy, my boy was hitting him for like $10,000 a month. Now he about to start his own kiosk. 
and the dude who owns it is black, but he happened to get a referral. That dude has $1.5 million in his account liquid. He showed it to him. This is the this is the this is the help that you can get having friends. You understand what I'm saying? Having friends is important, nigga. So I, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll pretty much rest on that. Go ahead, brothers. Nah, you're right. Having friends is very important. That's one thing we have to learn, man, to build a network. Because we love black men love to practice. Ice. It's crazy. I just did a video on this. Black men love to practice isolation, man. That's part of our downfall, man. It's just you can't do it all on your own. And I had to learn this the hard way. It took me many years. You need a network of people. And every, like you said, every other group operates in that way. But black men, we have this thing where <laughs> we just don't really fuck with each other like that, you know, for the most part, you know, outside of here. So it's like, you know, that's our downfall right there. Uh, you know, isolation is dangerous, man. That's one of the 48 laws of power. Isolation is very dangerous. The bird versus the flock. The flock always going to win. That's why it's so easy for uh, us black guys to, you know, quarantine, self-quarantine from this fucking coronavirus. <laughs> yep, you're right, though, Ramel. Yeah, that's another good point. <laughs> A lot of black men are not even having a hard time because we're just used to it. Yep. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But, uh, yeah, man, this is crazy, man. Uh, I'm glad I was able to finally get on a um uh, a business stream with those shade. Uh, man, you uh, always fish. welcome. Bro. I didn't know you wanted to do it, man. Like I was like, oh, okay. I see you here every now and then, but yeah, I see you on Kevin's. Man, listen, anytime you want to come on, I'm doing it tomorrow, man. So yeah, I didn't know. Like I'm like, oh, okay. I thought you just wanted to just you know just watch, but man, listen. I mean, but I just do, I do be wanting to just watch most of the time. I, I don't be. I, I wasn't even trying to even come on today. It was just that nigga. I know. My nigga is like, man, come up to the show. I'm like, nigga, don't you know, nigga, I know Ramil, nigga. I'm like, I swear, I swear, I came to watch. <laughs> yeah, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga volunteered. That nigga didn't put no money on, on the on the super chat. Where did the black girls? Where your money at, nigga? Hell yeah, nigga, you nigga, 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 drop nigga, nigga, nigga. Yeah, that nigga ain't dropped now one dollar in here giving the most advice in the chat. <laughs> yeah, this is what hurts us. That nigga ain't dropped two dollars in the goddamn chat. Uh, yeah, my, <laughs> my fault. I, my fault. I said something too. You know what I'm saying? I was because I'm not. I'm not good with business, to be honest, bro. I, I it's one of my weaknesses, Me and too. so I, I accept that. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I get. You can always get better, though. You know what I'm saying? I got books on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know, get better along with the other stuff that I do. But you know, that's why. That's why I was like, yeah, yeah Ramel be talking my business all the time. Or whatever, so but I'm sorry, y'all go ahead. No, you know what? Let me do this, brother Tony. That actually is a good idea. I tell you what, I will start um um a Facebook group, but just not right now. Let me get through all of it because if I want to start a Facebook group or a fan page, something like that, it gotta be right. Um, so I don't want to just throw a group up there. And just be like, all right, basic Facebook business group. And, you know, it, a gr good groups take a lot of design. Fan pages take a lot of design. Um, I know that. So, like, even the Facebook group I have right now, uh, some of y'all are in my Facebook group, right? Let me just, you know, go ahead on the shout it out real quick because it'd be, it be popping every day. Like, I don't know if y'all are. I think, you, I think you're in there, right, KIT? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in there. Yep. <laughs> it be cracking up. Yeah, dude, bro. <laughs> yeah, so um, so guys, if you want to get uh into the Negro Manosphere, the quarantine reality show, it's popping all the time. Okay, it's popping all the time. Uh, these niggas do not go to sleep. Okay, you got everybody. A lot of people from YouTube is in there. Um, it's it's people twerking, people making videos, people going live, roasting people. Uh. So this is what you can do. Go to my Facebook uh, group page right there and you can click on the link. But you cannot get in unless you like my fan page. Right. Uh, you know, we have a good time. It's, it's going down like 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day. Like I literally wake up in like in the middle of the night and niggas is going in like somebody got roasted in the security guard outfit. I'm, wa I'm, I'm waking. I'm waking. I'm hearing ding, 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 ding. It's my phone going off. And there's somebody getting cooked up on the post. And it's like two in the morning. Like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's a lot of good stuff going in over there. It, they, it, they be, uh, 
but you got to like my page. So go on to come in the group, check it out. Um, like I said, good groups are hard to run, right? Uh, oh, shout out to yes, Taylor. Yeah, yeah, I'm a new subby. Thank you. The vids are good, but the community, yeah, I like my community tab. I like my community tab. Shout out to OG in the building. So, guys, come in. I tried to grow, but I'm on pending status. Okay. Uh, just just come into the let me do one thing and I'll let everybody else in. Ramil, I, I don't know if you in there, man, because uh, you probably ain't got time. Taz in there acting a fool. Um, uh, no, I'm definitely in that bitch. I be, I be, I be seeing y'all niggas acting, acting up. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a, a manosphere kind of group, and it's fast pacing and shit like that. So, um, guys, come on in there, click the link. Uh, any any last words you, from you, brothers? I was just gonna say, man, uh, you 100 percent right, man. Running those groups are super hard. You gotta keep people engaged or whatever. And I'll run a group. And I ain't, I ain't trying to advertise it because ain't no, ain't none of y'all niggas interested in that. Nah, not at all. <laughs> it's all Linux, so I mean, ain't nobody interested in that. But uh, I got I got a group with like sixteen thousand people in it, and Damn. that shit is it takes it takes so much time. I have to like schedule. I schedule about fifteen posts a day. Um, just to keep people engaged in the group, yeah. and and then it'll it'll make other people post. You know what I'm saying? So it takes a lot of time. So yeah, y'all y'all get up in a uh, O'Shea's group or whatever, and um, you know, and support. Yeah, man, uh, it's fun. It's definitely fun. It's entertaining. Um, you know, again, I do uh, be on the community tab. My community tabs are wild, right? Can you monetize the Facebook groups? I don't think so. Um, only thing you can monetize right now are Facebook fan pages, but then you can sell stuff in your groups. But in any in any event, um, this is an entertainment group, right? So you know my uh, you know my entertainment groups are, uh, are 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 pretty fun. So you know, come in the business group. I will do it, but it takes a lot of design. You know, like you got to have the right admins and moderators. You don't want people just posting their business on the wall all the time and spamming the group. That's typically what will happen. But um, any last words from from the guys? Uh, man, nah, man. Thanks for having me, man. I said everything I wanted to say, man. I appreciate it, man. This is uh, I still learn something from the stream as well. So, uh, appreciate you for having me, and uh, you know, till next time. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to Ramil Amir. And guys, also, I, I do have a premiere coming up right now after this. So I have a premiere coming up right now. Um, the 90 day, uh, this, 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 this fat dude is a simp. So I'm about to roast this dude. So you, you might not want to go too far, but check out Ramil Amir's YouTube channel. I'm going to post it there. I have a lot of new subscribers over here. Um, so we got to do some things with, with Ramil one-on-one over here. Cause I got, I got about like 3000 new subs now. So, uh, oh, shit, that's a sub doing big thing. Nah, man, I'm just posting hella videos and uh, struggling it up, brother. That's all I'm doing. So, uh, so we got that. So, guys, don't, don't, don't leave because we do have the big Ed. Uh, I'm gonna roast this simp up after this, right? So y'all don't want to miss this. Any last words from the other brothers? Just gonna say, hey, I appreciate you, uh, O'Shea, let me on and everything, man. It's great conversation. You know what I'm saying? Holla game. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. Thank you so much. And and last but definitely not least, the brother Hassani. He he held me down tonight, man. Brother Hassani is a talent, Coach Ali. Right? Trust me, he's gonna blow up, man. I'm telling you right now, he's gonna blow up. Uh, Coach, go ahead and give him some some knowledge on that, Coach. Well, first let me uh, say thank you, O'Shea, for having me on. A salute to all the brothers who came on uh, to the panel. Uh, definitely gave some insight. Um, to a lot of brothers here, but brothers, the only thing I want to say is make sure you're applying what you're hearing today. Um, yes, it's entertainment, and yes, you know we're providing something for you. So you know we're we're serving a market that's that's rare in its form. But these brothers don't take time out of their day to talk. They're literally on here providing services for you and t giving you nuggets that you can apply in your everyday life. So if you're listening, to, if you're listening to this, make sure you uh, apply at least one thing you've learned today, so you can go ahead and become a better business person and start influencing yourself and in, in extending your network. Absolutely, absolutely. So guys, uh, you heard it. Now what I'm going to do now—that's Brother Ramil Amir's channel right there. 
Um, shout out to Brother Ramil Amir. For those of you who are new here, because I do have some people that are new, right, uh, that are checking it out. But I want all you brothers to go to the Big Ed from 90 Day Fiance. This dude is a simp. I'm talking about when I'm talking about simping. Oh, my God. There is nothing like simping like this. Uh, so I'm telling you. Uh, you, you, you gotta, you gotta check this out, man. You gotta check this out. I'm approving all the people that want to get into the group. So, um, I'm just letting you in, but you got to like my page though, right? Facebook.com backslash Negro Manosphere. Like my shit. So everybody go over to the, um, the 90 day fiance thing. And like I said, I want to apologize to the hall, uh, all the brothers, because I haven't been on live streaming as much, um, not that I don't just feel like it, but, you know, the time difference has been, been wet, really weighing on me and the electricity be going out and shit like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of live streaming. So I am going to go post on. Um, uh, I am going to go post on uh, Patreon in a minute. Joe Biden, I got to get him uh, tomorrow with that comment. Y'all know I'm going to get Joe Biden's ass. I got to get Joe. You know, I don't like Democrats. I got to get Joe Biden. I'm going to roast Joe Biden up. So, um, so guys, I really appreciate all that you guys do. Join me on the, um, the big Ed from 90 day fiance. I'm going to premiere that video right now. So I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to get there now. Cause I'm going to like not schedule it, but I'm going to, uh, publish it. What happened to the curl nigga? He didn't have no money. Aha. Uh -huh. Nigga got all them curls with no money. Yeah. I just like a nigga. So, um, I'll, I'll talk about the, the human capital probably tomorrow um, that the brother suggested, maybe with Brother Gabe. So, guys, come over to the other channel, uh, the other, this channel right now. The the Big Ed is premiering right now. We have 11 people in the chat. Um, so I'm just trying something a little bit new. You can't super chat. I, you, you should be able to. Uh, so, guys, go to the 90-day. Oh, shit. Wait, what am I, why am I there? Oops. Oh, it's premiering. We're premiering. So, guys. All right. Peace out, black girls. See you guys later. Peace, Oshay.